Hello and welcome. Thank you for being here. In this video, I'm going to give you some tips on how to manifest what you want. So this topic is really exciting and interesting um, to me, very fascinating. I love talking about it. I've been studying manifesting for a very long time. And the thing about I like about manifesting, the topic of manifesting and uh, learning about it is that when you look at the idea of being a manifester, a creator of your own life, or attracting all the things that you want, it goes actually, there's a lot of spiritual principles that go into the idea of being a creator and say a master manifester and being able to attract the things you want into your life. And so it's not just about the getting of what you want, it's about the person that you become in the process, which is um, a person who takes really full responsibility for your life. So the first thing I want you to know in terms of manifesting, um, I know there's a lot of people talking about manifesting. Uh, there's a lot of information out there. So one of the tips, the first one, um, is I want you to know that you are already good at this. You're already natural at manifesting. You're already manifesting at all times, whether you would know it or not. So what do I mean by that? Um, so you have how we manifest. The tools we use to manifest are our brain, our attention, our thoughts, our feelings, our imagination, our words, and our actions, essentially our energy. That's what we use to manifest. And so it's not anything, there's no secret. <laughs> I know there's a book um, called The Secret and people talk about manifesting as this secret, but it's not a secret. It's actually something that we are all naturally doing day in and day out, um, attracting things to us, manifesting things. Uh, so if you think about manifesting, uh, this moment is a manifestation. A thought is a manifestation. An emotion is a manifestation. An object that you have, the state of your body, the state of your mental well-being, the relationships you have, the clothes you wear, the career you have, um, the people that are around you, all of it is a manifestation. Um, and if you're attuned and pay attention, there's always a manifestation occurring in every moment. So that's the first thing, it, just to make it as it's not something you're lacking, it's already something that is already within you, it's something that you do naturally, and so there may be just a little bit of tweak that you may need to work on that all of us have to work on. But other than that, you already have sort of like the main tools and faculties and abilities to manifest the things you want. And most likely, um, you can look at, when you look at your life, you have manifested things you want and things you don't want. And I know I can, I can say that about myself. Um, I have manifested and attracted wonderful and beautiful things into my life. And I've also manifested things that I really didn't want. Um, and so that's okay. That's also part of the process that when you're a creator, that you, you create things that maybe that aren't good for you or that you don't really want, you think you want them in the beginning, and then you realize, oh, this is really not what I want. We're gonna talk a little bit more about clarity a little bit later. Um, but for now, and, and it's okay, all of it is fine. You're, you know, if you do create something that is not to your liking, it doesn't mean you're off your path or you've made a, mis you know, you've made a mistake or there's something has gone wrong. It's just you created something that maybe you need to recreate or uncreate or uh, create something else. 
that's okay, all right? So that's the first thing I want you to know, um, that you have the tools and you have the abilities and you're already using them. So the next tip is that um, manifesting, the idea of being, you know, manifesting what you want and being a master manifester is about responsibility. It's the ultimate responsibility for your life and for what you create. Now, this is probably one of, again, the deeper spiritual teachings around manifesting is regardless of where you came from, regardless of what you have created in the past, regardless of what's happened to you, you basically assume responsibility, even if it is just in this moment. You say, okay, from this moment forward, I take responsibility for everything that happens in my life, for all the things that I attract, for my relationships, for my finances, for the state of my body, uh, my career, all of it. So I think that's one of the beautiful teachings about manifesting is around letting go of the victim identity. And, you know, uh, one of my favorite quotes is by uh, Carl Jung, who is a psychiatrist, uh, a psychologist, um, I think he was a psychologist or a psychiatrist, one of them. But he said, one of my favorite quote of his is, what, um, I'm not what happened to me, I am what, have, what I have chosen to become. I'm not what happened to me, I am what I have chosen to become. So that is a beautiful statement that says, regardless of what has happened, regardless of what's going on, I now take responsibility for what is going to happen in my life. Or even in the sense of that, when you look back at what has happened, or when you look at what's happening in your life or in the world, that you get to decide the meaning and significance that you give it. You get to determine that. So to me, this is one of the deeper spiritual teachings about manifesting what you want is to get to this place of being willing to take responsibility for everything. The good, the bad, the ugly, what other people did, didn't do, what happened, what didn't happen, your mistakes, your failures, your success, all of it. So, and it's not an easy thing to do. This is I think this is a process that we come to, but when you do take that responsibility, there's tremendous power, like incredible power in it, right? Because now there's nobody to blame. You, you just decide that you are gonna be responsible for your life. <clears throat> so that's, that's a really a tremendous thing. So it's, and, and when you do that, that actually allows you to attract more of what you want because now you get to decide what you think, what you give your attention to, what you focus on, how you react, how, how you respond, and all of that. So, that's the next step. And then after that, um, once you make that transition from, you know, being a victim to being the decider and the creator uh, of your life, then the tool, the next tool uh, that we have that's really powerful is our attention. So it will be very important to understand this, that what you give your attention to and pour your energy into through your thoughts, words, actions is what grows. So we have before us every single moment to perpetuate, to 
recreate what's already here or to focus on a vision of the things that we want and bring that into fruition because manifesting is at its core bringing something that's in the invisible to be visible right so everything that you have around you was once in the invisible right it was in someone's mind if you look at all the things that are around you like objects or even even your body even yourself at some point you were a thought in someone's mind um, if that's your parents who wanted to have a child so everything is always coming from the invisible and then manifesting into the visible and the subtle the first subtle um, sort of uh, material thing that we notice if you call it that is a thought right it's a subtle thing it's and then um, words which are really powerful and then material like physical reality materials objects so it's easy to create and uncreate on the level of thought and 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 so your attention is what what sort of molds and shapes and brings the things from the invisible to the visible it's just like if you're thinking about a seed that grows into becoming a tree there's a process there's a gestation process or if you think about the caterpillar which becomes a butterfly there's like there's a process for everything but how that process happens at least for for us human beings it always starts with our attention and our thoughts what it is that we say we want and then what we focus our our energy in so one of the tips i would say is it's really important to be aware of where your attention is it's important to be aware of what your thoughts are like and this is about mindfulness and this is all what mindfulness teachings are all about it's this idea of in every moment being aware of what's going what's going within you to be more interested in what's happening inside of you with your thoughts with your words with the things you're imagining uh, what you're feeling and so if you develop that and then develop your um, ability your attention to focus on what it is that you want because our tendency as human beings usually is one we're <laughs> we're not aware of what's going on inside of us we're outward focused and so we tend to focus on what's happening around us and our energy and our attention is kind of projected outwards as opposed to um, introspection and being attentive to what's happening within us, in our bodies, in our minds, in our hearts. So the mindfulness teachings, whether that's meditation or um, you know, mindful exercises that help our attention to focus our attention is around really just tuning in on what's happening within you. And because your attention is one of the it's our greatest power it's the most important thing that we have we have time and our attention and so practice paying attention on what it is that's happening and then also directing your energy and your attention to what it is that you want and not what you don't want um, and it's okay to notice what you don't want. That's all right. Like where that actually helps you to clarify what it is that you want. But once you identify the things that you don't want, then you withdraw that energy because energy perpetuates and creates and like expands what you focus on. So it's okay to notice what you don't want, but then you f just focus your attention now. Okay, what is it that I really want? What would I like to see happen now? What would I want to attract into my life? How, would I, how, how do I want to feel when this thing is here, like the thing that I want? What would that be like? 
And so, and then what are the details of this thing that I want? And so go in that direction. So that next tip is clarity. Clarity is power. Um, because when you're clear about what it is that you want, that kind of sends the signal to yourself, to your brain, to your subconscious, to people around you, to the universe or God, whatever you believe in, spirit, energy, um, that this is the thing you want. You know, some people talk about this in terms of going to a restaurant and ordering something and then um, changing your mind and then saying, oh no, this is not what I want, something else. Like we tend to do that with our desires. Um, we say we want something, but then we have contradicting or conflict, conflicting um, ideas or desires around it. That's not the desire that's going to manifest. Um, so desires are great. All of your desires are wonderful, fine, if that, you know, whatever it is that you want. And I want you to get that. Um, but the, the desires that you really deeply want are the ones that really have that sustaining power. They don't go away, right? Some things you might say you want, but then next week you change your mind and I think I want something else. And that's all right. Desires can evolve over time as well. But there are certain things that we deeply desire and we just don't let go of them. And that's a sign in and of itself. That desire is for you. It's yours. And you can have that. So the work is be very clear about it and bring that desire in your imagination and in different ways. And there's many different ways to really clarify your desire and bring it into um, re kind of a in your imagination as real as it can be and some people would say even going let's say you wanted a certain car going in and test driving and things like that there's many different ways to impress into your subconscious the the details of what it is that you want um, what it looks like what it would feel like when you have it um, the specifics get as specific as you can be and that's a actually a fun uh, an exciting and thrilling experience when you first have this a desire come up and then you go through that process of really um, sort of describing in detail and um, just having fun with it, like having a lot of fun imagining what it would be like to have this thing that you want. Um, and then finding uh, different ways to really kind of get into that uh, the vicinity of that what it feels like to have that thing uh, and even when you start thinking about uh, for example uh, buying a, a certain car a new car and then you specific car then you start actually seeing those cars around you and then if you go test drive it and then you just and maybe you'll meet someone who actually has that car so you kind of start to that thing actually starts to come towards you already in in many ways right so that process is just being clear about what you want and then and then clarifying and enjoying the process of just having that thing in your imagination um, but also not contradicting it, you know, um, being okay with your desire, being okay with wanting whatever it is that you want, regardless of what anybody else says. Um, all that matters is that you want it. And if you're not c contradicting yourself, uh, then you, you can attract that. It can be yours, right? So that's... Um, that's one thing. And then last but not least, um, gratitude. And this is one, first starting to be grateful for all the things that you already have, that you've already manifested, whether you consciously known that you have manifested these things or not. Um, and all the teachers with the law of attraction 
um, say gratitude is the fastest route to manifesting the things that you want. And it's not just manifest for manifesting the things that you want, but gratitude is actually, it's a state of being, it's a way of living your life that is really powerful. Because then you're focusing on what it is that you want and you are already grateful for all the things that you have manifested that's around you. And you're being grateful for this thing that you want from the beginning, from the conception, from the desire. Being grateful for that desire and then being grateful for the, your ability to imagine and to have this thing within your mind and then to start shaping and molding it through your thoughts, through your words, through your actions, um, and then bring it into fruition, right? When you're grateful for the thing that you want to attract, um, this is one of the teachings around gratitude, um, act as if you already have it. So that idea is essentially it's, um, and how you do that is there's many different ways to do it, but gratitude is one of the most powerful ways that you impress your subconscious that you already have this thing. So you're not necessarily, when you're going that, through that process of owning and feeling this thing that you want in your imagination, you're satisfying that um, subconscious mind so the brain doesn't know whether we're imagining something or we're actually experiencing something in reality, in physical reality. And this they've done with sort of athletes, Olympic athletes, where they would have them run their, you know, 100 mile sprint, 100 yard sprint or whatever um, in their imagination and then in actuality. And the same kind of, um, I think it was just that the same neurons kind of fired in the same way as if they, when they were doing it uh, in their imagination as well as physically. So your subconscious mind doesn't know what's happening is just in your imagination or in physical reality. So when you take the time to think about, imagine, um, find ways to physically be in this in, in the reality of your desire in your subconscious mind and, and or when you express gratitude as if you already have this thing even though it's not in the vis in, in the visible yet but it's in your imagination you're thinking about it you're speaking about it you're writing about it scripting about it then it's real and then it's just a matter of time. And then if you're taking action, that's even incredibly powerful, like really um, inspired action. Um, so all of it, all of it um, matters and contributes to you having, manifesting this thing. So, and gratitude is just that it's the, it's the ultimate like positive attitude of that has like humility in it in terms of you know what I appreciate all the things that I have I'm grateful for everything and and the universe can give you more like that actually means you are open you're willing you have your hands open you have your cup open to receive and you will get the things you want so that's what I wanted to share with you today. Um, I will definitely be making more videos about uh, this process of manifesting and the spiritual teachings behind it. I would love to hear your experiences about manifesting. The, you know, What have you manifested that you absolutely love? Um, maybe you have experiences with manifesting the things you didn't want. What was that like? Um, I would love to hear your questions and comments below. And also, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up because that lets me know that you're enjoying this content. And also it helps spread the message to more people. And um, if you would like some support around manifesting, uh, also there's a link in the description below. And um, 
Again, thank you so much for being here and watching this video. And um, I'll see you in the next one. And also, um, there's a video on gratitude that you might be interested to watch after this. So I'll link that. And um, until next time, bye for now.